Well, we want to welcome everybody to RTC TV4. Scott Sager here with you this morning with Glenda Sager, my lovely wife, joining us. You know that uh, if we're together, it must mean something special. And this year, it's a parade right here at uh, Mentone, Indiana for their Egg Festival. Glenda, you excited to be here this morning? Of course I am. It's a parade, and it is a beautiful, beautiful day out. Nothing better than a parade on a day like this. Absolutely. Well, to start it all out, of course, we've got the uh, public service vehicles here. We've got the police department, the sheriff's department, as well as the fire department and more. So we'll sit back and enjoy and let you hear some of the sounds of the 2017 Mentone Egg Festival Parade right here live on RTC TV 4. got the Mentone Police and a beautiful Ram 1500. Yes, folks, it's a Hemi. <laughs> Complete with flashing lights for the kids. I love that. Oh, we all love the lights, don't we? Except when they're in my rearview mirror. That's right. But during a parade, it's great. We've got some kids throwing out the uh, candy here in the back of one of those vehicles. The candy has started. Uh oh, he's getting out. Think he's going to ticket somebody? <laughs> This is where they do the uh, salutes and tributes. We'll pan out. We've got Brant Gerald on uh, camera today. Glad to have Brant over with us here in Mentone. I see the young lady's got a headset on over there to uh, <laughs> protect her ears. Well, she's going to be around it quite a bit. That's right. It's uh better to protect her ears for now when she's that close. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'll tell you, it's a gorgeous day out here. They couldn't have asked for better weather. The absolutely beautiful. Mid to high 70s, some clouds in the sky, but a lot of sunshine. So we'll have a few moments here where we're all going to salute the uh, Ladies flag. Ladies and gentlemen, if you please stand for the national anthem. So you'll hear our silence while we play the national anthem here at RTC TV 4. Wonderful rendition there. Everyone in the crowd uh, paying homage to those who've served and uh, to everyone who served this great country of ours. And what a pretty picture. The breeze just blowing that flag in a nice little yeah, billow. Nice, nice job by Brant framing that for us. So here come the sirens again and the parade is back on. There are more.
Kosciuszko County Sheriff's Department Special Operations. That's quite impressive. Yeah, I don't want to see that one showing up <laughs> in my house by any means. No, we won't. Well. go straight into the fire trucks the go from the boys in blue to the boys in red. Now then comes fly down here. Engine number one. They've got all those trucks nice and shined up today. Yes they do. I think my favorite though is the old one coming up. It looks great. Tanker truck for Mentone, Tri Township. I like their graphic on the back of that. They got a little Bugs Bunny with a fire hat on. Very cute. The old open air fire truck. It's awesome. Mentone yeah. number one. Mentone number one. See some of the guys there. 1929 Dodge. It's a beauty. Yeah, it's great to keep those things going for the kids to see, see the kids up in the back, having a good time. We've got some folks over from Silver Lake, Town of Silver Lake Fire Department. I want to thank them for being here today in their beautiful truck. You know, for being a small town, Mentone really packs in the crowd for this festival. A lot of folks over here last night. Folks over here today just lining the streets from one end of town to the other. So a uh, good time over here. We've got Seward Township out of Burkett here today, engine number one. It's in memory of our fallen brothers. Nice tribute there. But uh, for those of you at home today watching RTC, maybe you're on Facebook watching us right now, or even our website, come on over to the Mentone Egg Festival today. They've got a whole day of activity scheduled. Nice grass truck there with a couple of jump seats. And then the Atwood Fire Department, Harrison and Prairie Townships coming over. Now that looks like the 4x4 four four they take out into the woods. What it do does. Think? Kids are going to like that one. Akron, Henry Township Fire Department, truck number three, looking good today. Little one on his lap there, enjoying the parade. Tippecanoe Valley and Rochester might be rivals on the football field, but uh, Rochester coming over to support today. Right there, that truck reminded you to have two ways out for your personal safety inside your house. Make sure you've got a plan. Of course, if you ever need smoke detectors, you want them to come and test your smoke detectors, give uh, your local fire department a call. We have to come out. Make sure you're safe. Always a good reminder. And we've got fire rescue from Tippecanoe here now, engine 942. Welcome them today to Mentone. I think we, this is officially deemed the loud part of the parade. <laughs> yes, it is. And then, of course, the ambulance and EMS. You know, this is the only time I want to see them, really. Absolutely, <laughs> but we're glad they're here. Four-Way Emergency Services Incorporated out yes. of Mentone, Indiana. Nice little mascot there. Helping out the kiddos. <laughs> we know in small communities, many of these uh, Emergency personnel or volunteer folk, we want to thank them for volunteering and doing their part to make this community all it can be. They are a vital part of our community, absolutely. Of course, all the paid folks as well who make it a profession. We've got Parkview EMS, hadn't seen their car before, I bet they lead the way, clear some traffic for the ambulances coming in. Mm -hmm. 
Nice two, three tone, four tone green there with some white for Parkview EMS. Serving Wabash in Kosciuszko counties. If you're just tuning in, we're at uh, the Mentone Egg Festival here in Mentone, Indiana. Scott Seger along with my beautiful wife, Glenda. Brant Gerald on camera for us. And here we have the Lutheran EMS. And right before the parade, we um, heard them talking about the cooperation they're going to have between uh, Lutheran and the school system Let's here. Have a big round of applause for all our emergency medical services. Yeah, a big. Uh, we recorded that. We'll air that for folks later. Brett Boggs and uh, officials yes. from Kosciuszko or from uh, Lutheran there talking about this partnership. It'll Sounds be like a great, great partnership. partnership. Yes. Legion number forty-nine. We've got the honor guard. From the, color guard. From the American Legion. Yes. American number forty-nine. Legion post number forty-nine. Proud to see all those guys out today. Those who've served. Great to have them in our parade. It is an honor. Looks like we have the Grand Marshal, the Parade Marshal this year, Jim and Agnes Tibbetts. Glad to have them here today. Have to give Brant a wave. Brant, can you hear me now, finally? <laughs> it gives me the thumbs up. Kind now of, that the sirens are far enough past. Allowed. The poor guy's standing right in, next to the street. And he's right in front of one of the speakers here, so it's uh, kind of loud on him. <laughs> our parade marshals, Jim and Agnes Tibbetts. There's your parade marshals right now coming up past the stage. Caught him just handing some awards to the Egg Festival Parade Marshals this year, Jim and Agnes Tibbetts. That's a fun little car right there. Yes, it is. The only note we have here says Norris. Not sure what we have there. Great day for a ride in that little car. The car's a Norris. Brant's panning back over towards it right now. And there they have their award. Quite happy with that award at the Mentone Egg Festival. This beautiful Saturday morning here in June. June already. It is June already, and a beautiful June day it is. Absolutely. Well, it's a... It's a... Uh, live weekend here on RTC. Last night we went live with the Rochester High School graduation. This morning we're over here in Mentone for the live parade. And then it all culminates tomorrow with three, that's right, three graduations live simultaneously. We'll be covering wow. Caston, Argus, and Tippecanoe Valley. That all starts around 2, 2.30 tomorrow. That's you amazing. It is graduation weekend, it isn't is, it? <laughs> it is. And I thought it was hard filming one. Yeah, and now you've got three at once. Three wow. at once. We'll have some fun with that tomorrow. Of course, we'll have the Tippecanoe Valley graduation live on RTC TV 4, uh, Channel 4, that is, if you have our cable system, as well as online. <coughs> Excuse me for that. We'll probably also have that up on Facebook, depending on how our connectivity is. Okay. And then uh, Argus and Kasten, we will take those straight to their pages on our website, so folks will be able to tune in. This is your Kosciuszko County and Fulton County Democratic Party. Here's your Kosciuszko and Fulton County Democratic Party. See Joe Donnelly's sign there. Yes. I see Phyllis Bittinger back there. Phyllis, a mainstay with the Democratic Party of Fulton County. She has the important job here of passing out the candy. She does. I see Rochester teacher Maria Kelsey over there. I know she's big with the Democrats in uh, Fulton County. Appreciate everybody being here today. And then coming up, we have Miss Mentone 2016, Tanya Leibarger. Tanya Leibarger, congratulations on being Miss Mentone 2016. I want to thank the uh, parade committee as well as the Chamber of Commerce, Rita Price, all the folks over here have just been such a blessing. 
lot of help. They're happy to have us here, and uh, we really appreciate all they've done for us today. Miss Mentone from 2016, Taya Lieberger. Excuse me, Taya. Uh, I didn't like have that end, right. It? Looked like an end, but it's Taya. It is Taya. Well, congratulations to Taya. Beautiful name. This is probably her final run through as they uh, will be having a new Miss Mentone. That's correct. And we have Miss Mentone contestant Caitlin Shepard Caitlin coming Shepherd our way. Riding along here in this beautiful 65 Mustang soft top. Gotta love it. She can keep the crown. I want the car. Miss <laughs> Mentone, Caitlin Shepard. So she is Miss Mentone 2017. Our note said contestant, but we believe she's been crowned. Maybe crowned last night during some. Absolutely, of congratulations to her. And I always love these. They've got Miss Chicken, Mr. Rooster. Chris Seacrest is Mr. Rooster 2003. Oh, two, oh okay. Yes. But uh, Megan Seacrest, Miss Chick 2016. You see her there. Good framework by my camera operator, Brant. Thank you for that. Well, here's the uh, Vikings celebrating their Lutheran Health Network Community Hospital Partnership. And KCH is the winner of a miscellaneous award for the parade. Kids are throwing out balls and having a good time. Everybody waving at us, enjoying it. We see some board members there from Tippecanoe Valley. Mr. Connolly there, assistant superintendent. Some folks from the Lutheran group. Community strong. Hey, speaking of community, we've got a nice community bank here, Horizon Bank. Doing great work over here in Kosciuszko County, Mentone. Wearing great Mentone Egg Festival t-shirts. Horizon <laughs> Bank. More candy. We don't want the kids to be hungry. No, no. <laughs> now, I've been to some where the kids all show up with great big bags to put their candy yes. in. Yes. So. I've seen pillowcases. I've seen just about everything. <laughs> hey, want to give a big shout out to the uh, Blacktop Cruisers. They were here last night in force helping out with the car show over here. It was a great car this show. You'll see that video up coming up next flows. week here on RTC TV. Came over, did some interviews, showcased some of the Ms. cars. Check. Jade Kelly. Jade Kelly, she is a beauty. Well, there's your Miss Chick 2017. Yes. Is that what we had there? Yes, we do. Excellent. Jade Kelly. And again, I apologize, but from our notes here, we couldn't tell if that was a contestant or the winner. She looks like a winner to me. She does look like the winner. It's official. <laughs> We just said it on TV. If you see it on TV, it makes it real, right? <laughs> I think it does. No fake news here on RTC TV. We are the kids unit, uh, Cornerstone Church. RNG Auto and Truck is the vehicle out of Warsaw, and uh, that's a big one. But uh, they're towing today uh, the message and the gospel. Jesus has the uh, big Superman S in the middle. You like that? That's the oh, Cornerstone yeah. Church of Men Tone. I can do all things through Christ. Well, combining Jesus along with the uh, superheroes, he's probably the biggest superhero of all, isn't he? I believe so. In my book. Where are we at on our list, Glenda? Mm -hmm. Well, we're missing a couple of numbers yeah, here. Yeah, missing so. a couple. <laughs> but a great entrance here. Uh, is that a cow dog? I think it's a cow dog a, and a farmer. It is a cow dog. Yeah. I thought I'd seen it all. I don't think he wanted the top on. Looks like he <laughs> slid that to the side. Yeah, but well. He's having fun on this hot is. day. He is. They look like a great duo. I like them a lot. They're having fun. The kiddos are so cute. Again, great camera work by our camera operator, Brant Gerald. The unmistakable sound of a calliope. Calliope. That was a trivia question the other day. Was it really? It was. I think it was on Jeopardy. Had to explain to the kids what a calliope what? was. <laughs> Based on what's the principle of the steam? Gotcha. Got to have steam for the calliope. Well, this one is a beauty. Rolling our way. 
And I'm sorry I don't have any more information about that, but it sounds wonderful. Let's see if we can't read a little something as it comes sure. up here. I see 1927 there on the side. Model T. It is a Model T. Beautiful. That's a lot of fun right there. That's oh, from yeah. Curlin. From Curlin Motors? Curlin Motors. In Silver, Silver Lake. Lake. Well, all, all of the gadgets and gizmos and ways to uh, showcase your dealership, uh, that's that's in a creative one. I like that's it. That's awesome. I like it. It's a beautiful calliope there as well. Curlins are celebrating their 90th anniversary all summer long. Curlins has 90 years under their belt now. In 1927, Silver Lake, Russell pop Curlin over and see him. Ford dealership in Silver Lake, making his Curlins one of the oldest Ford dealerships in the United States. Wow. And the only dealer in the area to sell new Ford Model T off the lot. <laughs> that Curlin is awesome. Curlin Motors is the oldest of the five Curlin family businesses, now offering products and services through Curlin Motors, Curlin Tractor, Curlin Trailer, Curlin Motorsports, and Curlin Western and Workwear. So the next time you are looking for a truck, tractor, an ATV, a horse, or a stock trailer, a lawnmower, a pair of boots, or even a pair of jeans, please consider the Curlins because they are the small town dealer in a friendly way. Well, that was a beautiful 57 Ford Fairlane. It was there, and uh, you're seeing the whole line of Curlin and right. the things that they do. 90 years since uh, they've been selling Isn't those that Fords. fantastic? Said they had Model T's off the lot, brand new back in the day. So uh, pretty impressive right there. Hey, we know these folks. Our friends from Lake City Bank. Locations, of course, in Rochester, Akron, Mentone, Warsaw. They're everywhere. They are. Lake City Bank, based out of Warsaw, Indiana. I want to thank them for being a part of this today with their clown riding the bike. I think that's fun. Uncle Spokes, it says. Uncle Spokes. <laughs> you got to enjoy Uncle Spokes. Lake City Bank, take your candy. And you've got your typical new, well, you got the Make-A-Wish Foundation coming up right here. Having some fun today. One of their razors. And right behind them, you've got your Tippecanoe Valley Middle School cheerleaders. Tippecanoe Valley Middle cheerleaders are the winner of the marching unit. And they've won the marching award here today. They're being sponsored by the Make-A-Wish. Make-A-Wish Foundation is their sponsor for and the event. And it looks like they're going to perform for us. Nice. Brant's got a good angle on him. Appreciate you doing that for us, Brant. It's like we got a good location for you folks today. Go, 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 girls doing a great job showing their team spirit there. Yes, they are. Tippecanoe Valley Middle School cheerleaders here at the Mentone Egg Festival. Well, we got some farm all right there. That's a beauty. You, you have to have antique tractors in every parade. Now you know that's true. Um, we don't. It says uh, these are owned by Larry Malott. Okay. And I don't know my tractors that well to know what year, but they are beautiful. Oh, there's some beautiful farm alls here. Still running, still doing the job. That beautiful red. And they knew how to build them back then, didn't they? They sure did. Well, here's a group that always has Larry fun. Just finished planting all his corn, got it all cleaned up, and brought it to the plant. <laughs> <laughs> now it's giving Larry a little bit of a hard time there. They're having some fun. Last year, these guys had a great uh, parade entry. And that's the Tippecanoe Valley Aquatics Club. A lot of these kids in the pool many hours a day trying to do their best. This is your Tippecanoe Valley Aquatic Club. They're probably going to be ready for a, a little swim after this. A little dip this. in the pool after this, right? Oh, and headed our way is Mr. Rooster. Mr. Rooster. You Logan Fussell. Logan, what's his last I think name? it's Fussell, Fussell, it looks like. Excellent. Well, he's got a beautiful dog. 
I can't get my dog to do anything, and this guy's got a bandana on him. They look like twins. They're having a good time. Uh, you got to love that. Nothing better than a boy and his dog. Say his name one more time for me, Glenda. I believe it's Logan Fossil. Excellent. I apologize if I did not pronounce it right, but no, that's what it looks like to me. No worries. Logan, congratulations. And the Lady Vikings softball Woo. team coming up. They look like superstars. Yeah, I don't think this is the Lady Viking High School team. This is no. the Lady Vikings. Uh, it just says Lady Viking that's Softball. Great. That's great. A little short for us. They high come school. in all ages, right? They do, right? Right. Okay. Well, they're having some fun. We're glad they're here today. They've got the pink buckets out there throwing some, throwing some candy. Lady Vikings AAU Softball team. AAU. So that's a traveling softball team. These girls are going to get their skills, I'll tell you that much. They work hard. Now, this is one of uh, the next one you'll see here coming up in just a moment. This is from Sunco Motorsports, and it, this is the Orion Reaper. We talked to this gentleman yesterday. Did you? I like this thing. Can we get one of those? It's about 18000 he said. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but I do like it. It's awesome. Street legal. Really? Off-road legal. That is great. 25 miles an hour on it, but, uh, you know, if you know how to take off a governor or two, you might get it to go a little faster than that. I like it a lot. That was Sunco Products. Give them a this shout if you're Logan interested in that. M37 military truck. That's impressive as well. The military truck. Yep, M37. The Lo yep, the M37 military truck with the Loman family. And these guys are fun. The Lions Club. They have some great little racers here. A couple of the guys made it over today. Now, these I would talk to you about. Okay, sure. I'd love one of those, fun. too. That would be fun. I might become a lion just to do this. <laughs> That's your incentive, isn't it? Yeah. I think you have to be invited. They haven't called. Oh. So. Well, they're having fun. The kids really enjoy this. I've seen four or five out there at the same time, and the way they coordinate. Oh, they do some really great moves. Absolutely. A lot of fun. Against Scott Sager, along with my lovely wife, Glenda. This Here's the Mentone Egg Festival. It's our first time to go live with they this event. They serve our humanity through their community-centered state, national, and international projects. Thank they everybody the for their uh, the cooperation, everything they've done to help us out today. They have 46,434 clubs in 747 districts in 208 countries. Just some of their projects in Indiana alone include the Eye Bank, Leader Dog for the Blind, Cancer Control, Speech and Hearing, Indiana School for the Blind, Visually Impaired, and Building Ramps for the Disabled. Several times a year, these teams of Indiana Lions travel to third world countries to personally fit pairs of glasses at no charge to the recipients. Last year, over 750,000 eyeglasses were distributed. Members in the Lions Club is by invitation only to those who wish to volunteer to serve others through many projects. Let's give them a big land. They are a great asset to the community. They do some very wonderful things. We worked with them uh, to help get one gentleman a guide dog, um, mm -hmm. and I will tell you it was, it was great. We had to submit a video on behalf of this gentleman to show how he functioned with it, and it's just amazing what they're able to do. Uh, to help out members of this community. We're very thankful for their help, indeed. Who's up next? Glenda, who are we looking at? This looks like Cohen Severns, Mr. Rooster. He has got a barn, a tractor, uh, a windmill. He's got the whole shebang here. This is awesome. Cohen Severns is the winner of the theme float. And he won a trophy for his float. It his is dad beautiful. Wants tractor back. He's still car farming. Now, I believe he is a contestant for the Mr. Rooster. Maybe they've not had that contest. They might not contest have. Apologize yet, but, for uh, spreading false rumors here. <laughs> and another Scout important group to the community. From Cub Scouts from Burkett. And then we also have the Boy Scout Troop and the Boy Scouts 3782. Are
I hear a band in the distance. That is one of my favorite things at the parade. More candy for the kids. Our next one coming looks like we have uh, Mr. Rooster from 2016, Trayton Cody. And along with that, they are pulling uh, some really good looking boys and girls from the Jack and Jill Preschool. Mr. Rooster from 2016, Trayton Cody. And another great organization, the Girl Scouts of America. We have the troop from Mentone represented here. Girl Scout Troop 50216 from Mentone. And headed our way now is the Tippecanoe Valley High School Viking Guard and Marching Band. And they are sounding good today. Brings back a lot of memories for me, many times You're marching with the band. And next we have uh, a great looking camouflage truck here in memory of Brannigan Bainey. A 1971 American General M818. Who wouldn't want to ride in that? Everybody would love that. Well, there's a little bit of a glitch, Glenda. That's why I've been quiet for a moment. Been resetting some things. You should be back up online now. So That's you can watch okay. us on your mobile devices or on a computer. I believe that our Facebook uh, post of this fell off. We apologize for that. Not going to be able to bring that back to you today. Well, you know how technology is. Sometimes it comes and goes. Absolutely. <laughs> we, we do our best. Too many points of failure to promise. Guarantee it every time. But uh, we do our best here. And, uh, hope you stayed with us or tuned into another device. You can see it on TV over in Rochester area. But I did want to say, uh, out of all the crews that we film and all the events and thousands of them every year, tens of thousands of them when you consider my career, I will say, quite frankly, that the Tippecanoe Valley Band Program is one of the best around. They really, really do a fine job. The kids and all that they play. You'll see some of that on Sunday, the performances that the band does for the graduation. the graduation. Wonderful. Well, uh, you know me. I love the band. That's uh, dear and near to my heart. So you were a graduating band member at Tippecanoe Valley I High was. School. And when was that? Uh, do we have to say? Um, I am a proud 1976 graduate of Tippecanoe Valley High School. And I was a member of band all through my career at Akron and Tippy Valley. Some of my very best memories from band. One time at band camp, 
You're road riders. No, I don't want to hear your story. No, I don't want to hear your main game story. Not now. Let's take a look at these uh, wonderful riders here. Um, let's see. I'm guessing this is the Skull Riders Brotherhood. Road Riders. Okay. Road Riders for Jesus. Please. Oh, this is Road Riders for yep. Jesus. I apologize. I jumped ahead too far. No, nope, that's great. Road Riders for Jesus. United, we ride for Jesus. Is what the sign says. They got some POW MIAs here, so we got some veterans. We yes. appreciate them and all they're doing. I apologize. Some fun here. I saw motorcycles and I jumped ahead, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> no worries, but some beautiful motorcycles right there for sure. And a great day for a motorcycle ride it is. Absolutely. Well, here's our friends over at WRSW 107.3. Classic hits. You know, Rita Price, who's uh, president of the Chamber of Commerce over here in Mentone, celebrating. I think okay. she's been over there three, if not four decades. Over oh, wow. On radio. So uh, she is the epitome of the voice of Mentone, the voice she of. She is. And I always recognize her voice immediately when I hear her on there. And this looks like the Warsaw Cavemen. Cave I've heard about this man many like times it. on the radio. Nobody knew who he was. But apparently he's picked up somebody in the meantime. The Warsaw Caveman. Okay. It's an inside joke over here that I haven't heard yet. It says, we sell signs for your man cave. Like us okay. on Facebook. I like it. Well, that's kind of fun. Beautiful big rig coming through here. And I believe this comes to us from Travis Yates. Well, the vehicle is a uh, Peterbilt, and it's a uh, Jay Baker Trucking. This is Jay Baker Trucking, winner of the farm equipment. And they were a winner today. They are uh, pulling a farm all and a John Deere. I mean, this is if this isn't American unity right <laughs> here, a John Deere and a farm all on the same trailer. They can get along. We can get along, America. We've proven it in Mentone, Indiana this morning. Beautiful kids on the back there. Always enjoy having the kids. They look like they're having a great time. They do. And another great truck from Jay Baker Trucking. Boy, that's a beauty. So we want to thank uh, Jay Baker Trucking for being part of this today. If you have trucking needs, you can give them a shout. Absolutely. And now we have the Skull Riders there Brotherhood. They, they brought a sign. so They, they did, so I could tell. We like the sign. We also have uh, an entry here from the Teal Horses and Steel Horses Biker Boots. That's what it says. It looked like Teal. Sorry. Steel Horses. The Skull Riders Brotherhood. You can also stop by their booth at the Mentone Days. We've got a booth here. And more candy. And lots of candy. About to get crushed by a bunch of motorcycles. <laughs> but some beautiful bikes out here today. They're going to give those kids time to pick up their candy. <laughs> more a little bit. Not mistake the sound of a Harley Davidson revving up. Beautiful pipes on that one across the way there. Looking down, we've got the row of tractors coming at us, Glenda. We do. A long row of tractors. International 350i. The 56 International just went by. Here we've got a John Deere 730 diesel. Echoes of the past. The echoes of the past. Farming must be all done now, right? Sorry. Beautiful John Deere coming across here. I like the shades. The shades are great, aren't they? I need one of those on my riding mower. Wait, I need <laughs> you a don't riding need mower. A riding first. mower. Can you imagine mowing our yard with uh, a riding mower? Yeah, our yard's really not that big. We've done it in about you know. 10 minutes, wouldn't we? Another beautiful John Deere here, a little smaller. We could use that to plow the garden, Glenn. 
Oh, I don't think so. No, not quite. No. Well, what's a parade without a line of trackers? In Indiana, it's a must. You, you got to have it. Absolutely. And we are represented by all colors, it looks like here. Yeah, we've, we've got John Deere. Got uh, Farmall, the Red Farmall. Alice we've got the Chalmers. orange. Yeah. Had the gathering of the orange last year at the. Uh, power. Was that last year? Yep. I lost track of which color was last year. Which Historical group? Historical power show out there at Fulton County. I think that's awesome, though. They feature a different one each year, oh, and then you absolutely. get to see all of those. Absolutely. They yep. say that last year was the largest gathering of the orange in history. Really? We had more Alice Chalmers in one location than ever. So. Here comes a beautiful Ford. Of course, now Ford New Holland would have a different color style, wouldn't it? Be the blue. I think they would. But back then, Ford had its own distinct colors. Of course, we've got mm -hmm. the farm all here again. Next, we have some coming that are restored and displayed in memory of Kurt Miller. He's a junior firefighter. Look at that old wheel horse. I bet mm -hmm. that thing still plows the snow for him. Probably does. That's impressive. Followed up here by a big old farm all. In memory of... And one more Alice Chalmers. Oh, yeah, this one's got a little sign on it. Can we read anything there? It's a 67. Owned D7. by John D. Brown of Claypool. John D. Brown of Claypool. That's a D17 Alice Chalmers. Well, I'm seeing uh, the ambulance is coming up next. and. Yeah. Bringing up the end of the that parade means it's here. The end. Yeah, ambulance is going to come by here. EMS again. More flashing lights usually means the end. It has been a beautiful day and a wonderful parade put on here in Mentone. Absolutely. Well, it's been a great day. We'll let you uh, close out here with some scenes, some of the firefighters, some of the crowd. Thank you for coming out and seeing the parade, and thank you for all the participants for showing up. Well, I'm sure there are going to be a, day and enjoy this a lot of people headed uh, this way for the Egg Festival today, and it is a beautiful day for it. So Absolutely. if you can, everyone should come out and join it. Absolutely. Well, come on out. Enjoy this beautiful day over here in Mentone, Indiana. And then tomorrow, if you can't make it to one of the graduation ceremonies, pop on into RTC TV, TV4 or Channel 4 in Rochester and Akron. Take a look.